Uh, we'll get started with John Lupo. Hey, Ronnie, congratulations on the Eastern Conference Championship. Just just talk about the match as a whole, and you said it yourself after the match that they outplayed you for a large, large stretches of this match, but just talk about the substitutions you made and thinking that went into not only bringing those three specific players on, but bringing them all on at the same time as you did, and it worked out. They all made a difference. I never said that they outplay us, because that's a long from uh, the truth. We, it was an even game. And uh, uh, they didn't create any chances. We didn't create any chances. Um, we lost too many second balls. We couldn't move the ball good enough. Uh, I think we were leggy. I think we, we looked like, you know, we had uh, 120 minutes. A lot of them run 15 kilometers on Tuesday. We traveled from home for a night in the four o'clock in the night. Uh, and the mental thing as well, when you're winning a big game like that, uh, it felt like almost like winning a cup final, and uh, that's something we have to learn. And I think uh, that's why we always come a half a yard uh, behind. Having said that, uh, we created the things that we, we need to do, and we sometimes you just have to do what you have to do and and, and dig in there and and take your chances when you get it. And the, the way the team keep calm, even though we were not playing the way we wanted, was uh, really really good. And, um, and then we, I think we were, we were the dominant team in the second half, uh, and we knew that uh, in the last minutes uh, of the game we will be more uh, get more space and it will come more chances, and it did. And the substitutes was really really good. We saw how fresh they were. And for me, that just says something about what I said that uh, the others have played 120 minutes penalties, and then uh, a little sleep and, and everything, and then. Uh, but it's a good learning thing to us uh, because we're going to play again on Saturday and then we need to be fresher than we were today. Jonathan Segal. Hi, Ronnie. Um, what do you feel the significance of this evening is for the club as a whole? Uh, NYCFC doesn't have a ton of history. Or some other clubs in the league too. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, this club is, has been won a lot of football games uh, all the time. They've been uh, very successful in uh, coming to the playoffs six times in a row. Uh, we haven't dealt with the pressure before, and now we're starting to do that. And um, I think uh, the learning through for the whole club to win football games and how to deal with that and how to win them when the pressure is uh, on, that's something you have to learn over time. And this club has gone through a lot and, uh, already in a, in, a, in a young age. And today we have for a third time had success and we bring the first trophy uh, to the club and I'm sure it's not going to be the last and um, as I said to the boys enjoy it because that's uh, that's a big big thing the whole club has to enjoy it the supporters everybody because here in the US it's tough to win it's everybody have the same opportunities and that's and it's 28 teams it's crazy so what we have done so far has been been just amazing and um, but the biggest one is coming on Saturday. And uh, we have everything to win there. Go to Portland, tough place. They have been in these finals before. We haven't. But we uh, we will do everything to, to get uh, more energy into us before the game. And uh, that we're going to get everything out because uh, then we know we can beat anybody. Jeff Carlisle. Thank you. Hi, Ronnie. Um... To what degree did the fact that they were missing so many guys, how much, how much of a mental challenge was that? Because you're kind of preparing for all of these really good players and, and then you're kind of throwing a bit of a curveball. And you did have a pretty sizable possession edge in the first half. Why don't you think, why don't you think you were able to make more of that in terms of just generating some chances? I think the other players is training as well. I don't think they just put on the boots on. So it's not the bad players coming on to that team. They have everything to win. They just go together and, you know, we go for it. They had uh, 18,000 fantastic fans in, the, in their back. It's tough, always tough to come here. There's not many teams that, uh, that win here. We have done it before this year. We did it now. And um, and we knew that uh, that is going to be tough. Uh, at the same time, we played Tuesday, as I said to you, and we, we were struggling. But the, the, <clears throat> the way into the game was exactly the same. And uh, they didn't change. They, they played that the same way. And, and that's <clears throat> what they have done so good. Uh, I think... Uh, the whole staff, everybody, the trainers, in the, the coaches in the, 
in, in uh, the Fidel class. He's done an amazing job here. And I feel sorry for them, of course, uh, what, what happened. Uh, but they did everything they could to, to go through, even though they had uh, tough times before the game. So uh, they, they, they took advantage of the, the moment. Uh, we, we struggled, but we, we get it in the end. And that was uh, was uh, a great feeling. And sometimes in uh, when you play so many games, we, do, we have to win. Sometimes you have to just dig dig out a result, and we did that today. So um, I don't want to be critical to anybody. I think it's just uh, say something how far we have come as a team. I don't know many games we've gone now, nine games without losing. That's amazing uh, stats. And, uh, now we have one more. So uh, we're going to be ready. Um, but uh, Philadelphia, if they lose, the starting 11 is losing three, four, four players. So they are still a very good football team. And, uh, I've had uh, Finley is supposed to be with me and Celtic, so he's not a bad football player. So um, it's easy to say, like, you know, but uh, but they, they of course, it added different pressure to us. That we, it's more we have to win instead of amazing to win. And, uh, but I think the boys deal with it in the end, even though we were under pressure or stressed in the, inside the game. Ryan Gerbosi. Ronnie, what went into the decision to start ever with Tati out tonight? And was the plan always to bring Talis in at some point or at that 60 minute mark? I think uh, Eber has deserved to, to play. And uh, it was a tough first half for him because we didn't get any service to him. His strength is, is inside the box. And uh, he was uh, has back to the goal all the time. We we didn't attack space at all. Everybody come against the ball. Um, and that, that was a big challenge for us. And that's what we talked about in the break. But we knew that they have Talis, and um, and those two uh, were going to do the game together, and um, and they did it in a in a good way. And um, now we have more playing time for the, for those two, and um, we also get Tati back, so that makes us even stronger for the final. Chris Campbell. Hey Ronnie, in the first half when the club was uh, struggling to generate some chances, was it something that Philly Philly was doing in particular that was um, causing the team to struggle, and, and what were the adjustments that you made in order to uh, break that? Uh, they are always tough to play against. It's, uh, they play direct. They have a very good, uh, hard-working team, uh, good organized. We lost too many second balls. We lost four. We didn't move the ball quick enough. Everybody come against the ball. So in second half, we attack space better. We, we skip the lines uh, sometimes, go over them. We started to cross the ball instead of playing around. And then they present the defenders, the goalkeeper get more in play, and then uh, you create more. So. It was, um, but I, th I felt like we were like half a yard, always too late in, in things. And I, as I said, when that's that team thing, it's not the one player, it was everybody. And then it's about that we haven't mentally, physically rested due to got good enough into the game. And um, the subs look like they were a million dollars, all three of them. And, uh, and that's good. I also say something about the load to the others. So, um, so happy for the, the subs coming on and make a big difference. And. Um, we, uh, we're going to be more rested now six days to make ourselves ready for, for the final. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Congrats, Ron.